What's going on out there, YouTube? What's up, Team Hollywood? And what's up, my Madden 25 fans? It's your man, Hollywood Sports. If you are new to my channel, thank you for clicking on my video and welcome to Hollywood Sports. Guys, we are back on our franchise or practice franchise mode. And I want to try something new, guys. As you can see, we're going up against the Cincinnati Bengals, and I am working on my slider set. Hopefully, they re release the new rosters out to today. But what I'm going to do is put uh, run block and pass block for user and CPU on zero. Because I want to free this game up. I feel like the sliders restrict this game a little bit. I want it free flowing. I want everything to be moving and grooving. So I put the pass block and run block for, for user and CPU on zero. And let's see how the gameplay works. Like, like I said, guys, I'm already, always experimenting and testing to really get some good set of sliders. Let's do it. Again, guys, if you are new to the channel, Hit that subscribe button. You don't want to miss this season, guys. We got a long NFL season to go, baby. This is NFL it's week. week. Let's get it. NFL, where we'll see which conference reigns supreme today. It's the Commanders and the Bengals on Monday night. <clears throat> now from the banks of the Ohio River, we welcome you to Paycor Stadium in downtown Cincinnati, Ohio. Good to be in the booth with my partner, Greg Olson. I'm Mike Tirico. Welcome, and Greg, this is one of those that's worthy of prime time because wide receivers love the spotlight as much as any position group in the league, and we got two guys who shine <laughs> under the lights here tonight. And I think where it's going to be really fun and get interesting to watch, Mike, is in those critical situations, the game's on the line, third down, red zone, gotta have it moments. There is no mystery. Both these sidelines, they know exactly where the ball's going, <coughs> and they're it. just gonna say, I dare you to stop them. These are two who they, prime who they? elite. I always wide thought they said who they football league. They saying who they game, prime so time. Read the sign back there. Who they? All right, we're just about set for the show you who they the are. Crowd is we're definitely gonna show you who ready. We are. So go. are we. Off we go. Remember, guys, run block, pass block sliders are on zero for both user Joe and CP. Can they keep him healthy? Because when he's good, he's so good. Won the Heisman during his days at LSU. Took this team to the Super Bowl. Now, Greg, year five for Burrow with the Bengals. There's just certain guys, Mike, when they take the field and they step into the huddle, the other 10 players, they just take a little bit of a deeper breath. They're like, man glad this guy is on our side and he's certainly one of them he just brings an element of confidence to everybody else around him not only let's in the run, huddle, run but on the sideline, the, side the defense the coaching staff everyone is better as the result of him being your quarterback well they try to get the run game started here early on this drive mike and they're just gonna have to do a better job up front there's really nowhere for this ball carrier to go you we only play in the first half first by the way down, we only play in the exactly first half the case here just getting our sliders Second ready down. to go. Burrow. Here we come. Here we come. Here we come. Here we come, boy. He'll be forced to just throw that one away. Ooh. It's incomplete. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Nice example there, Mike, of the quarterback just being smart with the ball. You know, that way I, it I, didn't we can get the O-line and the D-line just using strictly ratings, guys. Get way, these trenches rolling. Play another down. Get the battle in the trenches. Oh, that great pass. Hot. Great pass by Hunting Burrow. Higgins. And they will bring him That's down a beautiful on pass the other side of midfield. I think it's so critical to start the game fast. I mean, you hear every coach and player harp on it in their so press interviews say, and in their there. conferences. Come on, baby. You use it's the something that everybody than stresses, but it's easier said than done. So I think for them to come out and... All right, guys, hold on a sec. We're going to look at this replay real quick. I want to see how Benjamin St. Jude is playing this. Oh, where am I going? Um, I want to see how Benjamin St. Jude played this. All right. He's got outside leverage right there. I like outside leverage for a corner um, because they, they force the receiver on the inside right here. They're going to force the receiver this way, but we're going to see what happened. Um, was it good defense, bad defense, or what? All right, let's check it out. Let's get down ground level watching the quarterback. Let's zoom in a little bit. He's right there. But he, he, see, he has the inside leverage, though. St. Jude's didn't quite get there. 
That's T. Higgins, man. Great receiver right there. Yep, great receiver. I just wish the fact that St. Jude is looking at the football right here, but maybe he just could, he didn't think he could get there. He didn't try, he didn't try to swat or anything, but that's okay. It's all good. Third down and be able to pick up a first and extend this possession. I think it goes a long way towards everybody on that sideline and in that huddle. Great just pass by Joe Burrow. Back to the former Patriot and Dolphin Mike Asiki. And that keeps him ahead of schedule. That's a first down completion of seven yards. Here's second and three to go. Here we go. Gasicki, the man in motion. Burrow here on second down. He's got his man. That's Hunter Renfro. And they bring him down inside the 25-yard line. Zone route running, Mike, is very simple, right? I mean, everyone wants to complicate offensive football and make it super technical. Once you come off the line of scrimmage after the ball is snapped and you know it's zone coverage... As long as it's sort of in the area the quarterback expects you to be, my rule was just run where they're not. And when he throws it, catch it. That is a gain of 15, and now it's first and goal. 12, 12, 12. Sure Burrow's in his zone. Back to throw, Burrow. Take it in by Gasicki. And he gets out wide. He'll go to the end zone. Mike Kosicki. Touchdown, Bengals. It's his second touchdown of the year. Exactly the way they scripted that was a one this one. Catch. A wow. beautiful opening drive, Greg. Able to find the end zone. On the <laughs> Bengals make that look possession. easy. And Mike, the word that comes to mind looking mm -hmm. at that drive is execution. And that's exactly what they talked about all week long. They wanted to come out early in this game and establish an early rhythm. And that's exactly what they did with that touchdown drive. 69-yard drive. Seven nothing is our score as this kick is sent into the air. From the six, here comes a return. A good return as he takes it across the 30. The commanders come out with the man they hope leads them into their new era. Jaden Daniels, the number two overall pick in this past draft from LSU. Greg, this is the man who won the Heisman Trophy with the Tigers in Baton Rouge a year ago. Quarterbacks like him are just so hard to defend, Mike, because not only can they beat you with their arm and their ability to process and spread the ball Let's out see to what the kind other of line play we get. but it's Zero their ability to hurt you here. when things break down. It's just hard to defend plan B, plan C. You might defend plan A really well, but, man, I'll tell you, you just can't simulate his speed in practice. You can't simulate his ability to make guys miss and extend plays. If I need to throw that when pass that coverage breaks quicker, down, maybe he'll see the receiver that defensive block front early. doesn't get home, he can make you pay in a lot of different ways. Here's second and nine. First carry for the versatile oh, the RPO Austin was open. Eckler. And nothing on that one back to the line of scrimmage. That. Sometimes and it's hard for me to read it. that because I don't want to throw that interception. Clearly the plan on offense was to establish the run a little bit on this drive, Mike, but the defense is having none of it. First and second down stop, no gain. Now it brings up a third and long. We'll see if they try something else. Got him. Got him. He's Let's go. He's got a man. It's McCord. Let's go. And he's down inside the 40-yard line. He must have been it's a in the really critical zone. conversion here because after not scoring on your opening drive, you just can't afford to follow that up with a three and out. So you find yourself down 7 nothing. Terry McLaurin. Sustain this drive and at the very least, see if you can come away with some points. From the 39, here's a first and 10. Run this straight ahead with Eckler. And he'll drive this one forward down to the 36. Jermaine Pratt up to make the stop. Second and seven. Okay, my center's supposed to go out and block for me on this play. Let's see how he does it. 
Ben in motion is Brown. On second down, it's there he Daniel. is. There he is. Good block. There we go. Left side. It's caught. High there Brown. we go. That's a great play right there. Down, but not before he picks up a first down <clears throat> after a gain of seven. To throw is Daniels. Now they'll set up the screen to Eckler. And he's going to be taken down, but there's a penalty flag back in the backfield. Is it a hold, or did they rough the quarterback? So, not quite I got to learn the timing on this play right here. You see my blockers going out to the left? They're pretty close. You got to time it just right so your blockers are there for you. You can't do it too early or too soon. Without Daniels front, now going to look to throw. But block. That's caught took too long to Eckler. develop. And he's not going to be able to get away. Very good coverage on the perimeter. It goes down as a loss of yards. To play corner in this league, Mike, you have to have great reactions and instincts. In this case, he trusts those instincts from the jump, and he's able to send the offense going backwards as a result. Here's a designed run, and he's taken down on what should be the final play of this first quarter. So we've played one quarter here on a Monday night. It's the Bengals on top. Greg and I back here in Cincinnati <clears throat> after this. third down they'll throw with Daniels it is brought in in the end zone Terry McLaurin touchdown commanders and what a response by this offense it's not easy taking the field Mike for the first beautiful, time in the game beautiful football, you find guys. yourself already beautiful down football. to score they watch their opponent kind of march down the field and score in the opening possession and they're able now to go out and square it on up Allows you to take a deep breath, a maybe get a little confidence play right for your here, defense to go out and get a stop, and they come over with this extra point. We got ourselves a tie ball game. The extra point, up and good. And the Commanders come right back to tie it at seven. Each team one possession, each team a score. 7-7 seven, seven as they kick it off. This one is fielded in the end zone, but he will not bring it out. It's a touchback, and this drive will begin at the 30-yard line. The Bengals offense ready to see the football for the second time. They'll work in a tie game here in the second quarter and get started with first and ten. We got to get Barrel out, out of the zone. Play action now. It's Burrow. Gonna get that complete to Jamar Chase. Chase. And they will bring him down on the other side of midfield. This is clinic tape for any young wide receiver out there watching this guy run routes. He has the defender thinking everything is a go ball. Attack oh him vertically, on, and then when you They're get to your route, dip, you stick that foot in the They're ground. It look too you easy. break in, balls on time, results in a nice first down pickup. They'll come up here on second down and five. Gasicki, the man in motion. Now a second down throw for Burrow. Get him. Let's go. In trouble. And Let's go. down he goes. <clears throat> if you're going to take a sack, you just can't add to it by taking such a massive loss on top of it. Understand when the pocket breaks down. Beautiful. Move up. Cut your Damon losses Davis, now. Boy, put a hit Not on only him. do you lose that down, <laughs> but now you face a big uphill battle if you want to extend this drive. 
third and 17. All right, so D, let's play it, baby. Let's play it. the sack, and now it's third and long. Burrow from out of the gun here on third down. No! He's got a receiver. It's Chase. And he's taken down inside the opponent's 35. We've now seen this quarterback show that he can beat you from both inside and now outside of the pocket. The ability to use his legs to flush out and buy time for his receivers. <laughs> they uncover downfield. Leads to a big pickup. The speed and the get off by the big interior here defensive the CPU tackle. Will like, run when I mean, he got through there it. so fast, he almost took the handoff right. himself. Last play went the wrong way. It sets up second and long. It's second down and 12. Gasicki, the man in motion. Working out of the gun, Burrow. Come on, guys. The middle of the field. That's taken in by Chase. It may not have moved the chains, but with what they were dealing with there on Since second down, kind of plays that's right a really now. nice pickup because now it opens up your play call sheet on third down where it's a little bit more manageable. They'll throw here on third and short. Good hit. Good hit. And this is going to be go. incomplete. That's great work to get in there and make things difficult defensively, setting up a fourth down. They're popping us with these quick passes, man. Press, press, jam them up on the line, jam them up. They go play action for Got Burrow. Him. Ooh, that good deep, good deep. Thought we he had a pick a right there. Throwing it on fourth and short, but not to be, and they'll turn it over on downs. Oh, that was fourth down? And here we have a real gutsy call here, Mike, early that. in this game offensively. I think you're giving up a surefire field goal attempt, but at the same time, you're demonstrating to your players, hey, offense, I have a lot of trust in you, and let's see if they have this same approach as the rest of this game plays on. To throw is Daniels on first and 10. He'll get this one to his safety valve, complete, and they'll be set up now. Up past the 40 with that one. Every once in a while, it just comes down to you need somebody in the huddle to just make a play, and it wasn't a whole lot fancy here. The quarterback just dumps the ball down, a quick underneath completion, and then really it's the yards after catch that did the rest, and that's what it takes. You're not always going to have the perfect play. You're not always going to dial up the perfect play against the perfect look. Sometimes players need to make plays, and that was a good one there. They'll come up here first and ten. Man in motion is Brown. To the right side. Catch made by McLaurin. And he'll be taken down as we tick down to the two-minute warning. Remember, he had the touchdown on the opening drive, and here on drive two, he gets a first down with that catch. in motion is Brown it's Eckler from the pistol the hole closes quickly he'll pick up about three they face second down and seven in motion is Brown. He'll be hit as he throws this time, and it's going to fall incomplete. He might be fortunate just to avoid the sack, and it'll set up a third down. So as halftime looms, Mike, they have to find a way to capitalize on this drive right here and make sure they end the half with some sort of points. Now, that incompletion, not ideal, but at the very least, it stops the clock catch your breath get back in the huddle and this next play it's got to be a gotta have it best play call 
He's got his man. Right side. It's complete. And they are in great shape. He's taken down inside the 10. The commanders will signal for the first of their timeouts. And they'll have a chance to talk things over after picking up that first down. Throwing now, Daniel. The pressure there got to him. He's hit as he threw it, and that pass falls incomplete. They got there in a hurry, didn't they, Mike? I mean, luckily for him, he saw that free rusher coming and at the very least was able to get that ball out to prevent the sack. Here's another shot from the six at second and goal. Man in motion is Brown. They'll run. It's Eckler. He'll take this forward maybe two, three yards, but doesn't matter. We have a flag down, and they're already marching backward. a bit tougher as they face second and goal. The tight end Ertz in motion. Daniels to throw on second down. Gets it away quickly and it's caught. And he'll be taken down. Let's call it the seven yard line. And here comes third and goal. Well, so often we see quarterbacks standing in the pocket, holding it, seeing if they can create something downfield. Well, not that play. That play was simple. Snap the ball to the quarterback, spit it out into the hands of your receiver, and let's see what he can do. And this is going to be incomplete. That's great work to get in there and make things difficult defensively, setting up a fourth down. Now Dan Quinn will send out the field goal unit. That one is good. And the Commanders get three here late in the first half to take the lead. Yeah, he does a nice job handling that kick there, but I think offensively, you come back to the sideline and you're thinking, we have to find a way to finish these drives. I mean, to be in first and goal and settle for three, that can be very deflating for an offense settling for too many field goals. And he'll be brought down just beyond the 25-yard line. A fresh set of downs to work with. It is first down and 10. Gasicki, the man in motion. Burrow now to throw on first down. It'll be taken down rather swiftly after a gain of just three. Here we go. They bring Chase in motion. Second down, Burrow. What? He's got a receiver wide open. Left side. And he's going to take this one all the way. 70 yards. Touchdown, Cincinnati. That had to be a busted play. Well, that, that had was to be a, a pretty easy right touchdown. There. He was wide open, Greg. Easy chance to close the deal, and they do with a touchdown. And Mike, you it see, just even appears though I got this, just the, a breakdown the defense working, there is a busted play every once in a while. To not only be with so these zones, open, it's man. an easy. Let's check it out. Where are they going? They all tried to cover my man right here. 
they all like came in on him he was on him going in here the receiver right here breaks out come on man see guys every once in a while there is broken coverage look at that wide open Oh, but well. then to have the space to operate after the catch to finish that one off in the end zone. McPherson, good on the extra point. And the Bengals are on top. It's 14 to 10. They didn't leave much time on the clock to put together a drive here at the end of the first half. And the kickoff's coming their way. This will be returned from the 6. He'll get this up to the 28-yard line. Nice place for the drive to start. The commander's offense going to take over just before the half. The trail by 4. A touchdown gives him the lead. Drive begins with first and 10. I'm just going to practice a play right now. This dagger play. I've been trying to learn how to run. And a lot of times with the, uh, with the uh, route combinations, we're going to try to hit Brown coming back to the inside. But we got to time it though, if we have time to throw. Operating from the gun, it's Daniels. That's over the middle and intercepted. That's the linebacker, Logan that Wilson. Time. Really nice job there defensively. For it, I mean, the they completely took away his first read. And instead of the young quarterback going through his progression and being patient, taking what the defense gives him, he decides to still try to fit it in and force that ball and ultimately ends up resulting in the takeaway. Open man, that's wow. Renfro. Wow. And he will get into the end zone. Touchdown, Cincinnati. That's his second touchdown Cincinnati so far. Cincinnati is a good team, man. They are the a very good half. team. And that is number two. Greg, he is off to some kind of start in this one. Two quarters and two receiving touchdowns. Mike, this is one of those situations where as a defensive coordinator, you've got to give your group an answer because right now, they don't have one for this guy. McPherson, good on the extra point. And the Bengals are out to a 21-10 to 10 lead. Very little time remaining in this first half as this kick is away. And this one is fielded in the end zone. Will well, not let's be run returned. It again. So it'll come out to the third. run it again. Like I said, guys, this is practice. Set to go now on first and ten. See that safety back there closing on the inside? He don't have to worry about Earths. I think the other guy's blitzing though. Working out of the gun, it's Daniel. Ooh. That's going to wind up incomplete. Not much time remaining. Well, time, time to make more it work that time. We're in this time. first half. For the most part, he's been very accurate with the ball. I mean, he's completing over 60% of his passes, but because they haven't been able to get any big explosive plays, continue to push the ball downfield, hasn't really translated on the scoreboard just yet. Throwing on second down. Daniel. Quick throw here is complete. All right, guys, like I said, we're just playing the first half. Um, um, I think that, that test play. went okay when we put uh, run so block and pass block on zero. On it seemed like the line play was still pretty good. Orlando, it looked like the trenches was getting Coachman a little physical in the trenches, man, so I like report. it. I might keep it Coach. like that, but I'm going to keep right, testing. Mike, I'm Hollywood Sports. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on my next video.